Welcome back, folks. In this episode, we're going to resolve a little bit of unfinished business from back in 2016. Yes, four years ago, we were uh, at this site in uh, episode number 27, the Cape Breton Mine Hikes. If you recall, we were kind of shut out of Second Gold Brook Gold Mine because it had been remediated and we just could only peek inside with our flashlights and uh, of course no access. The beautiful Cape Breton Highlands, uh, way back, a good three, four kilometer hike back into the mountains. Um, we ended up doing it again because we had a little bit of intelligentsia from a subscriber that, hey, um, there is access there, which you will see in this episode. You'll be pleased to hear that this became an amazing underground explore, a little bit beyond the expectations we had, which is always great. So let's cut the commentary here and get to the footage on the ground. The underground explore of Second Gold Brook Gold Mine, Cape Breton. So here we are at the brook bed that uh, has some rails in it part of the brook bed. Water seems to be flowing out of the mine here through the rocks. It just kind of comes out of nowhere here. You can see the uh, the dry hill. And uh, there it is. The water just comes from uh, nowhere. And this is where the adit is. You can see the uh, the tube that has been in place for years as remediation to seal this mine it's from Department of Natural Resources. And as we were told, the, the bar has been cut out at the top, which allows uh, a human being to actually fit in to go enter the mine. Like I say, this, this was the adit in the side of the mountain here at the uh, brook level. And uh, I'll cut in some old pictures that we showed before just to give you an idea of what this was. So let's uh, take a peek in the tube. So here's the tube looking in. And just like last time, nothing much has changed except you can see there is a stub where the uh, bar has been removed and pulled out here to the uh, left like so, and that does allow for human access. So we're gonna go in, and that means we'll see you inside the tube. Okay, here we are on the inside of the tube to the outdoors, as you can see. So this was the, uh, the original portal. And now we're uh, standing on the floor inside the mine. So with a little crawl through that tube, maybe approximately 10 feet, we're in. So turning around in the adit, it, uh, it's all intact and it continues. So here's the cart. It's open on this end. It's got kind of like a 360 degree swivel base to it. It's, it's on its top, it's been flipped over. Everything on the bottom that was welded is uh, just chopped at this point. Here's the other side. It doesn't have a wall. I'm telling you that paint is good because if we come up here and look, that is under probably eight inches of water and it's not any more rusty above the water than below. You'd expect there to be significant decay. Now that's good, good old fashioned lead paint for you folks. Okay, we're gonna continue on. So here's the card again, just inside the tube, maybe uh, 30, 40 feet in. So we're gonna continue, this takes a hard left turn and we're gonna continue down the adit. It's really wet in here. Um, the water dripping from the ceiling is constant, like a cold shower. This is allegedly a five, six, 700 footer, so we don't know how far we can humanly be accessible through this, but we'll, we'll try. I'm 
I'm being told there's pipe up ahead. And there's your quartz, folks. Some still left in the walls here. So if we look down here in the water, the uh, this piping starts to appear. And then we now know what the hooks were for that I just showed, because these were actually hanging pipes and they go right up to chained hooks, such as this one. There's chain all the way along there with telephone wire. And yeah, there's wire as well. So let's uh, let's go have a closer look. So this is the chain off the hook holding up that pipe. And there's that black wire that starts and it goes along with the pipe hook to hook. Don't know, we'll see where the wire goes. That's interesting. We've not seen like cable in the old abandoned mines before. Okay, what are you spotting up ahead here? Oh, oh wow. There are upright carts sitting on rails in the tunnel up ahead. Wow. With stalls. And there's, oh, there's, and yeah. Chain. There's lots of, uh, there's some interesting workings coming up here, folks. It looks like there was some stuff left intact in this one. So a little uh, cord, just dual wire cord. Could have been for uh, firing detonations, we don't know. Probably, maybe. Likely. We've not seen that in the mines before either. Okay, let's go up to those carts. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right. Trying to keep out of the, the water. There's, you know, a little brook flowing through here. Definitely that water coming out of the uh, front of the mine. This is where it's coming from. There's quite a flow here. Like, it's, it's literally like a small brook. So, that's where the water was coming from. And we're here at the carts. Now there's some, uh, some cribbing holding up the roof. <laughs> Probably not much anymore, but. And there's the, uh, the cart sitting in the middle of the tunnel on these rails. Wow, there's many carts actually. There's a few more in the distance there. So let's, these are upright and they've got their wheels. So let's have a, let's have a good look at what these were actually constructed like. Beautiful, beautiful cart. These are amazing specimens. I want to take one home and have it in my front yard. You'd never get it out of here. <laughs> wow. I, I don't really want to pull it through the cover. So there's like a throw handle. That must be what releases it to tilt or turn. And on it is like a safety lever. See, and it's, it's got a, like a, a twist tie on it to hold it. Can and did you say, do they still turn? They do, this one does. Wow. Uh, you can really read the name more on that side. Okay, there's more detail on this one. It actually is the Wabi Iron Works, what's this say, limited, new, Liskird. <laughs> New Liskird. Hmm. Now where in the heck is New Liskird? Gonna have to Google that too. Is that in England or something? I, I have not heard of a New Liskird in Nova Scotia or Canada? I don't know. We're gonna find out for you, but wow. That's nice. What, what, a, what a nice artifact to find. After, you know, here we are in 2020, and, and uh, this is a nice little uh, peak moment for this channel of all the mines that we had to go to to find ore carts. Here we are doing it like five years into this channel. We finally are touching and rotating wheels on real ore carts.
Okay, so from this one, we're gonna continue on down the adit, and there's more. And these are the same kind, just, let's see, there's two more? Two more. And there's that weird cable again. A telephone cable, I believe. Yeah. Let's see. It goes right up right and in ties into the, uh, the hooks above the pipe. Okay, just as we come around the back of this second card, just, I'll just point out, even though they're the same cards, if you notice, this one actually has the, uh, the handle thrown all the way to the left, so it's unhooked, so the, uh, the axles are down on the ground, but it's, uh, it's in a tipped position. So this is, what, this is how they tip, and that's why they have one end with, uh, with an open, being purely open, like this one here. And when they add this one here. So they can dump them out, of course. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna leave the carts behind now, pass on by, and the added continues into the distance. Four car tracks in the water. I'm trying to stay out of the water. It's getting a little foggy in here. Pretty modern fixture. I know. For how scraggy the pipe is, that's pretty amazing. I mean, that's brass, so it has no decay on it whatsoever. Hey, look at that. But it's weird. The it still it turns. Just cracked, yeah. Yeah, it cracked. It turns. And we continue. I hear a lot of water coming down. He says he's hearing water up ahead. This is a a decently distant mine. This is, I mean. A, Pipe. My light's flickering, gotta change a battery. <sighs> nope, not gonna work. You're what? Dead battery, changing battery again. <sighs> All right, new battery. Now we're cooking again. This even looks brighter than the last one. <laughs> Okay, noticing some marks on the wall. This says uh, 400. Could this be the 400 foot mark of the mine? That sounds about right. That feels right. I think we've come about 400 feet since that tube. Don't know. Yeah, probably. There's there's 450. All right, more pipe we need to Okay, maybe a cave in up ahead. God, I can see a waterfall up there. Okay, we're coming up on this gusher of a water opening in the ceiling. This could be where all the water's coming from. This could be. Mm. Wow. Somebody punched the hole. Pipes. A collapse or a fill in with a hard left turn, potentially. Is there any passageway to the left? Oh, look at that. You got your tip on camera. 
I, I always find it odd that people come and bring alcohol to mines to come in and drink and leave like the bottles and cans behind. It just seems so weird to me. I'd never come in here with alcohol. So this little offshoot to the left ends up going where? It's tight in here. Wow, there's a torrent of water coming through here. It's a belly crawl, folks, but it does, the tunnel does continue. Whoa. And we hear a whoa. Let's go in and see. Okay, I came through the little hatch and it's, it's tight in here, folks, but um, we are in a bunch of stalled, it's a shaft going up, basically. There's a ladder there heading up with a torrent of water coming down. There's a, there's a little bit of an offshoot over here to the side. There's an old drum over here. Shine your light up that shaft. That goes up quite a ways. That's that's an old wooden ladder. I'm gonna, you know, we're gonna look at it and check it, but I don't know. That might actually go up to that shaft that we saw the last time we were here that had the wooden deck built over it. So here's the bottom of the ladder, and needless to say, by looking at this rung, it's all just rotten. There is no way we are going to start uh, climbing up this ladder. That goes up about three stories, and I, we, we just believe it goes up to the, uh, the shaft opening in the ground, which we'll see later when we go to that, that wooden deck that we were at when we were here last time years ago. So, all right, I'm gonna go back through the crawl space and get back into the main at it. Now this looks like maybe a stick of dynamite on the floor, but I highly doubt it. Uh, maybe, I mean, you guys can have a look at it. I'm not going to touch it. Uh, I don't know. Okay, we're back here at the intersection and I'm on this mound of quartz. And it is indeed a mound of quartz. It's like pure. It's so white it blows out the, the light. But it goes into a, like this is like a dome of quartz. Like this whole thing is just an ore body of, <laughs> all of it. It's just, I feel like I'm in a, an igloo. It's just pure white quartz, everything. So they dug in here and they stopped, but this is the way they left it. Um, tons and tons of uh, resource still here. I mean, that's, that's amazing. That's probably the most quartz I've seen out of any mine. Out of any mine we've been in, or I don't know, this is probably quite unusual because usually it's in veins. This is just like a solid body. This must be 10 feet across. Wow. Okay, so this was the end. So we're gonna head back now towards that gushing water and, and past it and out past the carts to the tube. And we'll see on the outside because we wanna go visit, see that spot where the old uh, shaft was where they built a wooden deck over it. See what that looks like today in 2020. And is it where we were looking up that ladder? See on the outside. So we're just going to follow the brook uphill and go up to find that uh, that deck built over the shaft. And it's up here somewhere. So here's the deck and the grate built over the top of the shaft that goes down to where we were looking up the ladder. And let's take a peek down there. Okay, there's the top of the ladder there. That I Had I have climbed up, I would have come up to there. That's why we weren't seeing daylight coming down because that's really back over there to the, to the left. And if we look over here, there's the uh, the collared shaft going down. That's about a 70 degree angle or so, maybe. Mm -hmm. 
So that is that. Nice deck, beautiful area. Strange to find out in the middle of the forest, three, four kilometers back in the woods. But you have to protect these openings. So anyway, that's it, I guess. That ends uh, rechecking Second Gold Brook Gold Mine. So we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.